Hey guys, so I am super duper behind on my beauty advent calendars. I yesterday totally just got away from me. I was going to do day 14 and 15 and upload that last night. And I, the day was just super crazy. So I wanted to share, um, before I do the actual advent calendar unboxing, um, I actually got a gift, uh, Christmas gift from Kiehl's today. So it came in this cute little, um, Kiehl's like canvas bag and they sent a, um, creme decor. This is the soy milk and honey whipped body butter and it smells absolutely TDF to die for. It is just so amazing. I, like I said the other day when I actually got the creme decor in the Kiehl's advent calendar, I had not tried it before. But it smells so good. It smells like a cookie. So I'm excited to try that, especially since how dry my skin has been lately with this kind of like cold weather, warm weather, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then the other little thing they sent was the, uh, this is the Midnight Must Have set. So you get the uh, Midnight Recovery Cleansing Oil, the Ultra Facial Cream, the Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Mask. You get the Midnight Recovery Concentrate and the Midnight Recovery Eye. So this actually, they sell in the stores for $76 and it's a $99 value. And you get this cute little uh, Kiehl's um, makeup bag with it. Oop, can't, can't talk. Let's go ahead and go into beauty advent calendars. Hey, sis. So the first item is the Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. These are actually some of my favorites. I highly recommend these. Um, they stay on your lips very well. I would say usually it, I do have to reapply after I eat, but the uh, pigment is still kind of there. Uh, you just really need to touch up, especially for something like a dark color like this. This is the color Heathers. You just really need to like reapply it so you make sure you have that super dark pigment to it. But I went ahead and swatched it here. As you can see, it's kind of like, it's not really a berry shade. It's more of like a deep red, uh, but I am loving these deep dark shades right now. So I am super excited to get this one. And I actually just uh, snuck a peek of my Allure Beauty Box and they had one in there as well. So two this month. This is the Rituals uh, Day 15. It's the Rituals uh, Balancing Foaming Shower, Balancing Foaming Shower Gel, which kind of seems like an oxymoron, a sh shower gel foaming. Um, it actually, smells really nice it has kind of a perfumey scent and like when you like spritz it on here i'll just do a little here but you can see that it starts to get a little bit foamy there if it doesn't drip down my hand right here you can see it just gets like kind of like a little bit thicker foam it almost kind of has like a, a shave gel kind of like uh consistency uh, so it'll be interesting to try that. I've never really used an actual um, foaming shower gel. I am a Bath and Body Works shower gel ride or die kind of girl. So it's usually pretty hard to top those. Day 16 is the Shiseido Ulta Immune Power Infusing Concentrate. So I actually have not received a lot of Shiseido products before. Uh, I, I'm sure I've probably received some here or there in all the beauty boxes and uh, all the samples I get, but I will have to look up what you, when you use this, I'm assuming probably at nighttime uh, before you go to bed. Uh, so I'm actually excited to try this product from this brand. I haven't really used a whole lot. So let's go into QVC. Day 14 is the Skin Fix Resurface Plus. AHA Renewing Cream, tested and recommended by Unbiased Derms. So the only thing Skin Fix that I've ever actually tried is a like lemon lip balm from TJ Maxx and it was like $2.99. Um, so I figured I'd just like pick up a lip balm because you can never really have enough. So I'm actually interested in trying this one because I haven't really tried anything from this brand before. So we'll see if I'm unbiased there. Day 15 is the James Reed Gradual Tan Sleep Mask Face with Retinol. So this one says, this de-aging multi-action gradual tan uses Korean-inspired sleep pack technology 
and retinol to work in the golden hours of sleep. The sleep mask targets problems, pro problem areas of the skin and creates a healthy glow. So I'm actually interested in trying this. I was listening to a podcast this morning and they were talking about retinol and Shawnee Darden was saying that you should start using retinol. Sorry, the dog just bumped the table. You should start using retinol when you're in your 20s. And now I'm in my early 30s and I'm a decade behind. So time to get on that bandwagon. I'm definitely gonna ease myself into using retinol because it could dry out your face really or make it like super red too. So I'm gonna do some research on what's a really good retinol one. Day 16 is the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. So they actually even talked about Elemis on the another beauty podcast I was listening to. And they were saying that Elemis has kind of made its like presence here in 2019. I personally have not really seen it around too much. I have noticed it more in beauty boxes, but uh, they were saying like pretty much like Elemis, I think got bought by like one of the like big companies at this time. I cannot remember which name it is. I'll put it down here. Um, but everyone's talking about like Drunk Elephant getting bought and all these other brands like Kylie um, sold like 51% of her company to Cody. So nobody's really talking about Elemis. So I'm interested to see what this brand does in 2020 because I have not really heard of it too much. So exciting to see where it goes. And I've gotten a few products from them uh, over the years. So I've always, I've never had really a complaint about it. Let's do Q's. On day 14, 14, this is the Centella Sensitive Sika Cream. Oh, I've never heard of this. I know exactly what this is. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin and with glacial glycoprotein. Hello. Uh, so I have tried this one before. It's definitely super hydrating. I It's just like a basic white cream, like nothing special to it. I like it for when my face starts to feel really dry or you're just kind of like looking for just a little bit extra moisture. That one is a really good go-to one. This is so funny. These are like two things I just got in that little thing too. So this is the Midnight Recovering Botanical Cleansing Oil. I actually have not tried the oil before, uh, but this is probably just kind of like almost like a toner or micellar water um, that you use after uh, cleansing or exfoliating your face before you put on your um, concentrates or eye creams or anything like that. So I'm actually excited to try these. I love me a good toner or micellar S type product. So. Or I actually might save those for you guys so you can try them and I'll just keep the other ones that I got. Probably just do that. Oh, I wanted to also do my birch box, so I'm gonna grab that real quick. It's like combining my um, usually like regular monthly subscription unboxings into my uh, vlogmas videos uh, just to kind of like have a little some some extra. So I'm like digging the box this month from birch box so it's this really pretty box and it opens this way and it has this nice little like poem or something in it and then it just flips up again and it says hey you this is the Malin and Gotez brightening enzyme mask uh I feel like I actually have received this before I don't remember actually using it though is the Brigio Gentle Be Gentle Be Kind. This is the Kale and Apple Replenishing Superfood Conditioner and Shampoo. So this has no harsh sulfates, silicones, or parabens, which I actually have been looking for a shampoo and conditioner that has no sulfates or um, silicones in it because I actually have like oily hair, especially on the top and then my ends are usually pretty dry. Um, but sulfates really um they create a lot of more oil in your um in your hair so right now the one that i have been using does have sulfates in it so i want to try to move away from it so i'm going to try these and hopefully they work this is the model co highlighting shimmer whip i don't know 
it with a whip. Watch me whip. Now watch me nana. Watch me whip. Oh, it's just like a little schmutz. Just little. Let's see here what this looks like. Usually not like a huge fan of these for the main reason that usually wherever you put them, it like it's kind of hard to blend out. That's why I prefer like powders, uh, highlighters in powder form. This one is actually super reflective. I couldn't even imagine like putting that like on my cheek. All right, this is the Pure Lace Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30 oil-free moisturizing natural looking coverage matte meets glowy finish. I actually have other Pure Lace products that I really actually have liked. Uh, I'm not usually like a BB or a CC cream kind of girl because I like that full coverage, you know? Uh, but this will be good for just like days where you're just, you just need a little something to put on. Plus it's really nice that it has the SPF in it too. So maybe like a beach day or something. The Orbe Grandiose Hair Plumping Mousse. Oh my God, I haven't had a mousse and I can't even tell you how long. Obviously I have pretty flat hair. I don't really like tease it or anything. So I probably need some hair plumping mousse. This is so funny. I haven't had mousse like I don't even know how long. I remember like growing up, my mom always had mousse because she had like a perm. So I don't know. So it says, shake it up, mousse it in, blow it big. So it probably works best when you're blow drying your hair. So that's it. That's all my beauty goods. Got some good stuff. Got some exciting stuff I want to try from the advent calendars and everything. Um, this week is just another basic week at work. I took the entire next week off just because I have a ton of PTO and I need to use it up. And I just kind of like want some time to relax. I want to like, you know, do some cleaning on my house and um, watch a lot of TV, take a lot of naps, you know, because once January comes, we'll be doing more store openings and traveling and everything. So it'll get crazy again. So Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time we're for day 17 and 18. Bye.